BTQ Student Center opened three years ago. Most of our events are centered around education, advocacy, and visibility awareness. So we do a lot of tabling for awareness days, like we just had a tabling for Five Visibility Day. And our largest program is probably Miami Beach Gay Pride. We do a lot of cross-departmental programming, so trying to link with other centers here like MSA, Sandler Center, and the Butler Center, of course. We have a lunch and learn series that we call Queer Talks. We talk about everything under the sun. We have one once a month and the topic always changes. Past month, we actually had one about LGBTQ history, so it's good that we're doing it. <laughs> Why is it important to study LGBTQ history in the present day? So much recent progress has been made and young people are um, so queer friendly in so many ways that I think that there can be a sort of complacency or an assumption that progress is inevitable and looking at the sort of longer history shows just how uneven that progress has been. There's no kind of um, inevitability that things will get better and things haven't actually always been terrible in the past. Um, come visit us at the LGBTQ Student Center. We're open every day, regular business hours. You can come hang out, do homework. It's a really cool space, we're always bumping music and it smells really good in there. And we'll take care of you.